town is going to have one big headache in the morning. Sorry, I haven't even got a closet left. Oh, us. we have a reservation, the Barclays. Oh, Victoria and Audra. I never could get a reservation. What is all this? Cattle, Mrs. Barclay. Cattle, pure and simple. Every rancher with more than one steer is looking to make a sale. Buyers all the way from Denver fighting for the honor of paying top dollar. Well, congratulations. Tired. A little. Are these your bags, ma'am? Yes, that's right. Now, if there's anything you ladies want, just holler. Nobody will hear you, but it's good for the lungs. What time does the connecting stage to Stockton leave? First thing in the morning. Rooms 37, 38 for Mrs. Barkley and her daughter. Thank you. Excuse me, but uh, you two ladies wouldn't happen to be cattle buyers, would you? Sorry. So am I. Who's got 37? I do. I'll be out of your way in a minute. Well, let me know when you want to have dinner. In about an hour. I hope you'll be comfortable, Mrs. Barclay. Uh, this door leads directly to your daughter's room. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I'm sorry, I fell asleep and...
Well, why didn't you tell me you changed your room? I... Oh, I'm sorry. Well, hello again, ma'am. I thought this young lady was my daughter. I didn't mean to intrude. Oh. Excuse me. Yes, Miss Barclay? Could you please tell me what room my daughter is in now? Who? My daughter, Audra. Your daughter? Well, she was in 37, the one next to mine, but I was just there and all her clothes are gone. No, ma'am. What does that mean? She wasn't in 37. Well, of course she was. That room's been empty for two days. Look, Mr. Uh... Gates. George Gates. Mr. Gates, I realize everybody's in a playful mood, but I'm just a little too tired to join in. Now, what room is she in? Mrs. Barkley, I'm not as fresh as a daisy myself, so I suppose we both stopped playing. You helped us check in just a few hours ago. A, a very pretty young girl with long blonde hair. Mrs. Barkley, if your daughter was in this hotel, she must have come in in a suitcase. I never forget a reservation. That's what you said when we registered. You won't find her name in there. Why not? Because she never signed it. Where is she? There must be some mistake. There is, and you made it. Mrs. Barkley, your daughter was never in that room or in this hotel. Why don't you get a good rest? Things will look a lot clearer in the morning. There's one thing you can't remove. What? Her perfume. The odor is still in that room. Well, I was up in that room myself not more than an hour ago. I didn't smell a thing. I'm sure you didn't, but I did. Now, I know that perfume. I bought it for her. Do I have to go to the sheriff? Only if you want to cause trouble. That's exactly what I'm going to do until I find my daughter. <laughs> Sheriff. You're looking at him. Oh, I, I need your help. Uh, people come banging through that door this time of night. Usually do. It's my daughter. She's missing. <sighs> Lady, half the world is missing something. The other half looking for it. But something has happened to her. Well, what? I don't know. That's why I came here. Calm down and tell me about it. Well, we were on our way to Stockton. That's where Would we Would you met. like some coffee? Oh. Mind if I have some? Sheriff. You got the floor. We registered at the hotel to wait for the next stage. I fell asleep, and when I woke up, Audra's room was empty. Not your daughter? Yes, everything was gone. Her suitcase, her clothes, everything. I asked the desk clerk if she had changed her room, and he said... He said he didn't know who I was talking about, that I was alone when I checked in. Were you? I just told you. Well, sometimes a long, hot stage oh, ride. Oh, for heaven's sake, Sheriff, I'm not senile. Well, maybe she found a traveling companion she liked better. Is that your professional opinion? Lady, this time... Victoria Barclay. All right, Victoria Barclay. Now, right now, this town is high on cattle. And the money that cattle will bring, it's like... Uh, it's like an avalanche. You don't stop to ask if you want to be part of it. It just kind of sweeps you along. But they're telling me she doesn't even exist. Now, why would anyone want to... I don't know! Well, I just can't go in there. Sheriff, people, a whole lobby full of people saw us when we checked in. Now, why are you sitting there? Question them. Make them tell you what happened to her. You're the sheriff! No getting away from that, is there? Let's go. Satisfied? No. Well? I want to look at the room. And I want to talk to, uh... The porter and housekeeper. Look, Sheriff, I don't have... Humor me, George. Why don't you 
go out and arrest some drunks. It's more your speed, isn't it? After I see the room. Up kind of late, ain't you, Sheriff? Man your age ought to spend as much time as he can resting. Send up the porter and the housekeeper. Why? Because I told you to. Something going on, Sheriff? Maybe. This lady thinks the hotel ought to supply a family as well as clean sheets. Oh, why don't you go back to bed, Sheriff? I can handle it. I'm up now, Hearn. I'll see it through. When you get tired, you holler. Bring them up to, uh... 37. to me. Exactly. A whole town is bursting at the seams. People are sleeping all over. Now, why? Why would there be a perfectly good room empty? You got a point. This closet. This closet. It was empty. This is Mel Trevor's room. He's been here for the past week. I told her that. No. This bureau here. The bureau drawers, the cot. It was empty. Mrs. Barclay. It was empty. All right, in here. I want you to help the lady. You remember my daughter, don't you? No, ma'am. Oh, yes, you do. You brought her bag in here, and you put mine in the other room. Yes. Yes, yes, ma'am. There. You gave me a dollar. That's right. I thought it was a lot of money for bringing up one bag. Oh, no, no, two. Two bags. No, no, ma'am. One. One bag. Yours. I left it in room 38. Annie, did you see the lady's daughter? You were turning down the bed when we came in. I haven't worked this floor all day. But you talked to us. You smiled. You saw her. All of you saw her. Now you tell him. Tell him you're lying. laugh with your friends over the feeble-minded lady from Stockton? Ah, uh, maybe somebody down there has seen your daughter. Then... Then you believe me. I didn't say that. Why, help me. As you said, I'm the sheriff. I'll go with you. Get some rest. I can't. You come on as strong as you did up here, and people are bound to back off. Oh, I won't, I promise you. Oh, please, please, she's my daughter. All right. Just remember, you dragged me over here to ask the questions. Tired yet, Pop? I'll let you know. Hungry? Oh. When's the last time you ate? That doesn't seem very important, though. Things always look better on a full stomach. Take it from someone who's put in a lot of hungry hours. Oh, come on now, Sheriff. Don't be a hog. Introduce us. We've met. Not formally, ma'am. It seems you two have adjoining rooms. 
Well, now, that's cozy, isn't it? What room would that be, Mel? Well, I'll tell you, Sheriff. You, uh, you ask me to sit down, and uh, maybe I'll let you force it out of me. My name is Mel Trevor, ma'am. The Sheriff asked you what room you were in. 37. I didn't know you were staying in town, Mel. And I didn't know I had to tell you every move I made, Sheriff. Just making conversation. How long has it been? I'll tell you what. Why don't you give me a refill? Give a lady what she wants and uh, give us a chance to get acquainted. Got to keep asking until you answer, Mel. How long have you been here? Oh, about a week on or off. Get lonesome at the ranch? Listen, I got 4,000 head of cattle out there. Bidding starts tomorrow. I got to line up the best prices I can going in. Oh, by the way, you ought to be at the pens by dawn. Don't think I can make it. Why not? Might have something a little more important than uh, keeping the peace for a bunch of steers. There is nothing more important in this town than steers. Anybody ought to know that, it's you. Ma'am, do you have any children? Three sons and a daughter. Well, maybe you'll understand what I'm talking about. Cattle are a lot like uh, some children. You uh, spend your life taking care of them because they uh, don't have enough sense to take care of themselves. You worry about their weight, what they eat, whether they're warm enough in the winter, cool enough in the summer. You don't really have much time for anything else. But, but if they grow into what you want them to be, why, I guess it was all worth it. Where is she? Uh, I beg your pardon, ma'am. Well, you're obviously in on it. Uh, Sheriff, uh, what is she talking about? I thought I was supposed to ask the questions. But you're not. You're just chatting. One swallow, that's the deal. Well, if you let me in on this, ma'am, maybe I can help. Steady as she goes, sailor. Oh, he ain't no sailor, ma'am. He's just a plain, everyday range bomb. Why didn't you say some of that? You are thirsty, lady? No, but my daughter might be. Who? The pretty blonde you danced with a few hours ago. Frank, did I dance with a blonde girl? Well, if you did, you sure kept it from your best friend. You know who I mean. No, ma'am, I don't. Why don't you bring her on over? I know I'd like her. Now, what did that get you? Is the whole town in on this? Why? What did we do? Why did you sit down? What did we do to them? What did we do to them? Now, you listen to me. You listen to me. My name is Victoria Barkley. My daughter's name is Audra Barkley. Now, she's missing. And a lot of you know what happened to her. And I'm going to find her. You think because I'm a woman that I'll give up, that I'll turn and run? Well, I won't. So you better get used to me. I'm staying right here until I find my daughter. I'm not leaving here until I find her, and I warn you, I warn you. She better not be hurt. I'm a doctor, Miss Barkley. Try to calm yourself. Get her up to her room. No! 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 Let her be, Hearn. She's giving the hotel a bad name. Well, it's better than the one it's got. Now, it's all right, Mrs. Barkley. Go! Oh, no. I'm going to give you something to help you rest. No, no, I don't want to rest. Now, listen to me, ma'am. Just listen. Now, just dry your eyes and relax. No. Oh, let her alone. Let her alone. You're in on this, too. Hey, 
Please. It's all right, folks. It's all right. If the lady's a little disturbed, the doc will take care of her. Hey, go ahead with what you're doing. Hey, Stages here, they're holding it for you. Let it go. I'm not leaving. We need the room. somebody who knows Audra was with me. Thought we had that also. The stage driver, he drove us all the way from Salt Springs. Where is he? There he is. Oh, no, no, not him. Oh, you mean that uh, tall, yes. early head of Yes, yes. Yeah, halfway to Denver by now. Yes, but he knows oh, Audra. I, uh, I don't know what the doctor gave you, but it really worked. You slept clear through, Mrs. Barton. You're a day behind the rest of us. Where's the sheriff? Well, most folks come to me with their problems. I'll take my chances with him. He can't do nothing for you. He's a tired old man. Well, he gets out of breath just pulling on his boots. Now, let's go back to the hotel and pack your bags and make sure you're on this stage. That's your ticket, Mrs. Barkley? You'll need it for the stage. How many ways do I have to say it? I am not leap. <sighs> yes. Yes, yes, I have my ticket and... Yes, I have my ticket and I have Audrey's. Now, if I were traveling alone, why would I have two tickets to the same place? Can you answer the lady's question, Hearn? Neither can I. Now, do you believe me? Well, let's just say I don't doubt you so much. All right, where do we start? I guess the best place would be where you lost her, a hotel. You won't find nothing there except trouble. What kind of trouble, huh? The kind you can't afford. A man can afford most anything when he's got nothing to lose. Well, how about the lady here? From where I'm standing, looks like she's got a lot to lose. Awful lot. Let's go. Oh, uh... You're going all right. You just might have company. It's nice and quiet for a change. Bidding started today. Everybody's out at the pens, where I ought to be. Mr. Trevor's looking for you. Not a fact. Once you're out at the pens. Later. You won't like that. I'm not one of Mel Trevor's steers. <laughs> Aren't you? You know, George, something's nagging at me. Well, the doc is in room seven. It's a riddle, a real puzzler. Not interested. Well, you're part of it. Still not interested. Now, you said that Mrs. Barclay's daughter didn't register, so she was never in this hotel. That's right. Everybody who stays in this hotel must register, right? That's the rule, Sheriff. Mel Trevor's name ain't in your book. Does that mean he was never in this hotel? He didn't have to sign the register. It's the rule, Mr. Gates. 
Maybe in all the rush to get his things into the girl's room, it just slipped everybody's mind. Excuse me, I have work to do. I hope you can do it in my office, George. What? You're under arrest. On what charge? Keeping sloppy books. You can't do that. Watch me. I'm not going, Sheriff. Well, after what you've told me, you need protection. I didn't tell you anything. Didn't you? No! You're a very nervous man, George. Everybody knows that. No, yeah. the least little pressure, you just break wide open. I but can't. you're my possum. I'm gonna dangle you at the end of my rope and see what starts nibbling. I just do what I'm told. I, I hand out the keys and I sort the meal. And I laugh when someone tells a joke that I've heard a hundred times, because that's what I am. I, I'm a desk clerk. It isn't much of a life, but it's all I've got. Please, please don't take it away from me. Then where is she? I you understand. They'll kill me. If you don't scare yourself to death first. No. No, no. No! George! No! We're just in the line of duty, Sheriff. Can't take chances with a man running from the law. Or talking to it? Well, lucky thing you weren't first out the door. Or you, little lady. I'll do that. I'll do that. You know, that was a warning. It was telling everybody to keep quiet or they'd wind up like Gates. And they was telling us to back off or we'd wind up that way. Sheriff, if the whole town is in on this, why didn't they tell you about it? I guess maybe they figured if I knew I wouldn't sound too convincing. Well, that's only part of it. More important, they knew I wouldn't do nothing if I did believe you. They were wrong. Not by much. Last night, you said they thought you'd turn and run because you was a woman. <laughs> you don't have to wear skirts to do that. It's just what I want to do. Get out to those pens and mine Mel Trevor's cattle for them. They don't think very much of you, do they? I mean, the deputy, Trevor, and all the rest. They got a right. You see, this town, this territory, makes its living off of cattle. Prime stock bringing prime prices. When the bidding's over and the money's been collected, everybody puts it in the bank. For safekeeping. You don't have to tell me. You ought to know who you're getting stuck with. Last year, three men made a withdrawal, using their guns for collateral. They cut the bank clerk down because his hands were shaking so bad he couldn't load the money fast enough. He was about my age, and he was an old man, no match for the three of them. Looking down at him, I knew I wasn't either. And it froze me. First time in my life, I was scared of dying. I got on my horse, and I rode the other way. So the ranchers formed a posse, but they'd waited too long for me to lead them. They come up empty, and those three fellas ain't been found yet. But you're still a sheriff. <laughs> when I got back, they wanted to lynch me. Sometimes I wish they had. Instead, they hired Hearn to be my deputy and told him he'd be sheriff when my term was up. I got three months to go. Then what? I was a pretty good sheriff once. Tom voted me the use of 25 acres near the river. That totals out about an acre a year. It's uh, Trevor's land. And he can take it back. Well, anytime he wants. He's part of all of this. Well, now, that's my worry. Why don't you go back to the hotel? I'll be close by. I practically know your life story, but I don't know your name. It's Kingston, ma'am. Roy Kingston. I'm very pleased to know you, Mr. Kingston. I sure hope you say that when this is all over.
Who is it? Kingston. Sheriff. Sheriff, I know where Audra is. So do I. Trevor, now he gave me this handkerchief last night. It has Audra's perfume on it. I wired Stockton Didn't last you hear night. me? This Trevor just came... Trevor has Audra. Read it. Don't you... Oh, no. No, that's a lie. Well, your son's name's Jared, isn't it? Yes, but they tell him... Audra, safe and sound. Tell mother to hurry home. We all miss her. Signed, Jared Barkley. They finally got to you, too, didn't they? What? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, Audra. She's done this before. Done what? Run away. Your daughter ran away? In Salt Springs, the last stop we made. I refused to believe it because I... I didn't want to believe it. <laughs> It's very hard sometimes for a, for a mother to admit the truth about her daughter, but... <sighs> well, it's not so bad. After all, she's home now. Everything's all right. Yes. Yes, she's home. And I want to go home, too. What time does the next stage leave? A couple of hours. I'll be on. You sure? I... I just want to go home. I'm sorry I caused all this trouble. Oh, we understand, Mrs. Barkley. It was foolish of me. Well, we all let our imaginations run away from us sometime. Sheriff, thank you. Thank you very much for everything. fine and nobody got hurt you don't count gates I don't Strain your elbow, you keep bending it like that, Roy. Mrs. Barkley's still stuck in his crawl. We had to do it, you know that. Sure, I know that. And why fight it? It'll be over soon. That's supposed to make it any easier? Keep your voice down. Oh, come on, Mel. We don't have any secrets around here. 
We're just one big, happy family. Listen to me, you drunken bum. In three months, you're going to come crawling to me, begging for those 25 acres. I'm trying to forget that. Well, don't you forget it, because I can still say no. Look at you. You're an old man. What are you going to do? Where are you going to go without me, without my land, without my charity? Think that over. I'll be in the office. And Sheriff, don't you uh, fall apart again, because there'll be nobody around to pick up the pieces. We should have taken care of him a long time ago. You'll get his badge soon enough. Is this her food? Yes, doctor. Where's Mr. Trevor? I don't know. All right, we'll take the tray on down to her. I'm not going down there. Take it down. you left town. Uh, I forgot something. Uh, what? Uh, something I left with the porter. Excuse me. I think we'd better tell the sheriff. Yeah, good idea. Thank you. 
Audrey. 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 Oh, what did they do to you? What did they... The mover. Mm -hmm. Doc says one more night down here might finish her. But supposing somebody sees us. Everybody's drunk and tired. All we have to do is be careful. far, not in her condition. Oh. You couldn't even buy your own lie. Oh, please, please, let us go. She's very ill. So are you, Mrs. Barclay. Don't hold out too much hope for your recovery. You're not like them. Look again. you'll wake up everybody. Right. We'll take him out of town. Nobody will hear anything out at the Ophir mine. Well, keep him out of circulation for a few days. That was the deal. Mrs. Barkley just canceled that deal. She's one of the most respected women in the state. When she talks, everybody listens. But you just can't kill two people. Well, how can we kill them, Roy? Mrs. Barkley left town hours ago. Her daughter wasn't even here. Isn't that what she told you? Yeah, but I... We don't know where they went. Nobody else will either. Oh, you're quite a businessman, aren't you, Mr. Trevor? Tell me, how do you buy a man's soul for 25 acres of land near the river? That's all I've got. But is it all you want? Get the rig and bring it out back. Unlock the rear door. Go ahead, Sheriff. Go ahead, do it. Pretend we never existed. You can do that. What do two strangers mean to a man who doesn't even care about himself? All it takes is... Shut to... up! Back off, Mel! Get the rig! That's a card you go, Hearn! She's 
trying to save herself. That's what we're all trying to do, ain't it? Roy, the girl has anthrax. You know what that means. Nobody will touch our cattle. We'll be right back where we were a year ago, starving to death. A full belly ain't worth their lives. A few more days, it'll all be over. Cattle will be sold, and nobody would know. I'll know, Mel. You'll feel even better when Nick and Jared get here tomorrow, if you stay put. What am I going to do with her? Listen. Did I give the cattle anthrax? No, ma'am. Humans can't give it. No, well, they can only get it. Well, then why did they kidnap me? If the buyers knew there was anthrax in the area, they wouldn't touch those cattle. The cattlemen around here would go broke. Why didn't you tell me you were ill, Audra? Well, I thought I was only tired from the trip. And I didn't want to worry you, so I asked the desk clerk to send up the doctor. After he examined me, he gave me a shot, and I went to sleep and woke up in that cellar. Well, it's over now. And as long as we have to stay here for a couple of days, we might as well be comfortable. Hmm. I'll see you before you leave. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you, Mother. She's got a painful sense of right and wrong. Are you sorry? No. Gave me another chance. Now, there are three fellas riding around out there with something that don't belong to them. And I got three months to get it back. You will, Sheriff. I think you're right. Now. Closet left oh, us. we have a reservation, the Barclays. Oh, Victoria and Audra. I never forget a reservation. What is all this? Cattle, Mrs. Barclay. Cattle, pure and simple. Every rancher with more than one steer is looking to make a sale. Buyers all the way from Denver fighting for the honor of paying top dollar. Well, congratulations. Tired. A little. Is these your bags, ma'am? Yes, that's right. Now, if there's anything you ladies want, just holler. Nobody will hear you, but it's good for the lungs. What time does the connecting stage to Stockton leave? First thing in the morning. Room's 3738 for Mrs. Barkley and her daughter. Thank you. Excuse me, but uh, you two ladies wouldn't happen to be cattle buyers, would you? Sorry. So am I. Who's got 37? I do. I'll be out of your way in a minute. Well, let me know when you want to have dinner. In about an hour. I hope you'll be comfortable, Mrs. Barclay. Oh, uh, this door leads directly to your daughter's room. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.
Audra, I'm sorry. I fell asleep and... I haven't even got a closet left. Oh, us. we have a reservation, the Barclays. Oh, Victoria and Audra. I never could get a reservation. What is all this? Cattle, Mrs. Barclay. Cattle, pure and simple. Every rancher with more than one steer is looking to make a sale. Buyers all the way from Denver fighting for the honor of paying top dollar. Well, congratulations. Tired. A little. Is these your bags, ma'am? Yes, that's right. Now, if there's anything you ladies want, just holler. Nobody will hear you, but it's good for the lungs. What time does the connecting stage to Stockton leave? First thing in the morning. Room's 3738 for Mrs. Barkley and her daughter. Thank you. Excuse me, but uh, you two ladies wouldn't happen to be cattle buyers, would you? Sorry. So am I. Who's got 37? I do. I'll be out of your way in a minute. Well, let me know when you want to have dinner. In about an hour. I hope you'll be comfortable, Mrs. Barclay. Uh, this door leads directly to your daughter's room. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Oh. Audra, I'm sorry, I fell asleep. And... 